Hi Pisces, Pisces Sun, Pisces Rising and Pisces Moon. Welcome to your Tarot Video Scope for October 2020 by Amalite Worker. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing and subscribing. Please remember to turn on the notification bell. Understand that these are general readings. You may want to check out the video for your rising sign and moon sign because you are going to get additional information. And if you like to have a personal reading with me, please visit my website www.amalateworker.com and email me at amalateworker at gmail.com. For the month of October, I'm launching a new service called Spiritual Nutrition, where I get to combine my training as a nutritionist with my ability to read the Akashic uh, records. And it is being offered to you at a discounted price of $175 for 90 minutes or as a bundle, a ses uh, four sessions for $400 plus a bonus session. So please visit my website if you'd like to know more or email me directly if you have any questions. For those of you who are interested to know more, I have already uploaded a whole new reading for your sign and for each sign of the zodiac and it is available for download and purchase through Vmail. The Vmail link is down here below in the show more description box. You may also choose to join by clicking the join button right here next to the subscribe. When you join, you're going to be taken to the membership space. When uh, you have three tiers, you choose the one that is most appealing to you and you are going to have a third additional reading and additional services that are not available anywhere else on the internet. Thank you for allowing me to say this year. So, Pisces, the general feeling that I am picking up for your sign has to deal with the karmic wheel of your fortune is going to redirect you in a better direction. Things about honesty, true friendships or true partners may come up. You may have to address certain uh, situations about money or an emotional situation. There's the possibility of a new partnership in the making. And it is a month when you are going to uh, attract where you're going to manifest. So affirmations, particularly in the morning, are going to play a significant uh, role. Now I'm going to break this down one by one. The first card that wanted to show up for you is the Wheel of uh, Fortune. To me, it means positive karmic events um, that may change or alter the course and the direction where you thought you were going for the better. You could be dealing with a conflict of interest of some sort. You may be dealing with news and information that for the time being may alter your course to a different uh, direction that is going to feel very karmic. You could be th feeling a little bit all over the place. For some reason, this may not necessarily be caused by you. Maybe you are dealing with a lot of uncertainty due to, uh, you know, the pressure building up from people, from a boss about a work uh, situation. Some of you uh, need to research something. You may need to look at the fine print. Maybe you have uh, neglected something. Um, if there is anything from your past that maybe you forgot, now is going to come back to you. A lot of detail-oriented work may be required of you at this time. You may have to deal with situations where details are going to be important. To some degree, for some of you, you may feel that certain situations from the past may arise again because in some ways you may need to complete what you started for some of you it could be about your health about your body okay issues about your health or your body not necessarily issues but maybe you have to finish the course of treatment uh okay 
Um, for other ones, I have a sense that you may be dealing with a situation where you have to study for a test, for an examination, you may have to deal with some paperwork about a permit, you may have to take a course, some of you may be going for an audition, you may go in for a training or a uh, workshop. To you, it's going to feel that you are dealing with forces. Some are pulling you this way, other forces are pulling you in the other direction. You may be dealing with people who have a very different point of view and you may find yourself being caught in the middle. In the workplace, something will shift, something will change. Because it feels like you're going to be at the right time, at the right moment to scoop in to benefit from some uh, changes. And it may just be that somebody in the workplace may be actually trying to uh, put in a good word for uh, you. If certain truth needs to come up in the workplace, maybe you did not know, maybe something was hidden. Uh, it may just be a reveal because for some of you, this card has a lot to do with you taking your power back when it comes to matters of your work, career, and particularly uh, in the workplace. Try not to overshare. You may be having uh, great ideas. Maybe you are planning on doing something that uh, is going to bring you success, but whatever is, or maybe something is happening with your personal life. Try not to overshare. The next card that you have is Five of Pentacles. To me, it means being viewed by others as unfit. Misery, but also hope. This is a reminder that a true friend or a true partner stays with you for better or worse. Seeking out a new, more accepting society. Okay, sometimes this card also indicates financial problems or emotional problems, but it also means never losing everything. So for some of you, it is about you and whoever you are in a relationship with, okay? Uh, you may have to analyze what kind of a relationship you have with this person. For some of you, this could be a friend. What kind of a uh, friendship you have with this person? Maybe there is something from the past where you didn't trust this friend or a friend betrayed you or there was some sort of a misunderstanding. They may be coming back to you trying to reconnect with you uh, again, but I don't know whether you are going to take their apology or not. For other Pisceans, I have a sense that uh, you may be worried about a partner you may be worried about your marriage. It could be due to a certain financial circumstance that puts a lot of strain for uh, you and this marriage. Some of you are going to make a very important decision because you are going to know how you feel about this person. Do you want them in your life or not? Could be a friend, could be a spouse, could be um, an, another person that is important uh, uh, to you. You may not proceed to break up right away, okay, or to file for divorce, but once you make that decision and you lock it in in your mind, or once you are clear about your emotions, how you feel in your heart of hearts, that's what counts. You're going to make a certain decision about this relationship. I also have a sense that for some of you, you may travel. You could be reminiscing over maybe a place where you used to live, maybe, you know, at the beginning of the relationship or at the beginning of marriage. For some of you, even though this is unusual, at least where I live, I keep getting that you may see some cold weather or even a few snowflakes right here, um, uh, right here in uh, October. October. You are going to break some pattern. And it could be about your religious beliefs. It feels like you are uh, walking away from a church, okay? Uh, from your religious beliefs or certain old spiritual beliefs because maybe they no longer apply to your life. 
whatever is it that you are your you are turning your back onto is something negative and you are finally going to have the courage to walk out of a circumstance or to walk out from any negative uh, forces but you may have to re-examine your financial affairs or how you feel about this situation the next card that you have is two of wands to me it means creating the foundation of where would you like to go from now. Sometimes, so to me, it also means commerce, a trade, negotiations, or a partnership. Help will come together for you when you least expect it. However, I also feel that you are holding on to some information, to some secrets. Maybe you are holding on to certain feelings. You are not going to be willing to reveal too much too soon to a, to a person, to a specific person or to a group of people. For some of you, you may feel the need to retrieve, maybe to meditate, maybe to spend some time alone or to spend some time in nature. Other Pisceans, I'm shown that you are going to be spending quite a lot of time here fixing up your home, repairing your home, uh, redecorating your home. Something may show up. Uh, during this time, uh, your home may be needing your uh, time and your uh, attention. You could be preparing your home for uh, winter. You are going to be in a position where suddenly you know something or in a position where secrets are being spilled, somebody may be revealing something to you. And now that you understand that you have the power, you're going to feel like, I don't know what to do with this. I have the power of this secret now, but I don't know whether should I do anything uh, about it. You may also feel that when other people confide in you, it could be too much for you to handle. And maybe that's why you're going to feel like I just need some time to myself away from this person or away from this group of people. You are going to be rethinking a new strategy. You are going to be coming up with a new plan. Some of you are going to have two or three different things that you are working at. Uh, okay, your hands are going to be full. And in October, it's very important that you learn to prioritize. I also have a sense that for some of you, this is a card that uh, is going to bring to you some sort of a world wide romance. I don't even know what this means, but it could be about online dating. It could be about more romance in your uh, life. So two things could happen here. For some of you, you may be feeling a little bit emotionally closed. And for other Pisceans, you're going to feel like so emotionally uh, open. You're going to feel like you are wearing your emotions in your uh, sleeve. Definitely something is shifting here. Okay, when it comes to the heart center, to the heart uh, chakra. Some minor adjustments need to be done in your daily life. Okay, maybe you're going to change your working hours, the way how you do your work, the way how you take care of yourself, the way how you eat, um, the way how uh, you eat, your hair routine, maybe your skin routine, but something in your daily life may need to be uh, adjusted. They would like to remind you that you are not alone. So it's okay to rely um, in yourself, but also do consider where is it that you uh, allow other people to step in and to help you in some ways. Pay attention here because you may deal with a situation where you may be saying something without being asked or offering advice without being asked and that could be uh, backfiring. So when you decide to communicate, if you do decide to communicate, make sure that you uh, do it in a very careful, uh, careful uh, way. You could also choose not to communicate with someone for the time uh, being. So offer help or advice only when you are asked. The next card that you have is from a different deck. This is Morning Affirmation. 
say positive affirmations each morning to open the gates of manifestation. So when you get this card, of course, it is a reminder to say those morning affirmations. But at the same time, it's a card that it, it is reminding you that when you have to, a tendency to worry or to overanalyze, you have to let go. Basically, focus on whatever is it that you are praying or wishing to have. Imagine like you already have it. And the first moment when you, uh, when you are awake, when you open your eyes in the morning, even before you get up from your bed, say that affirmation. How does it feel? Okay, imagine in your mind like you already have it. And let the universe worry about how that's going to happen in your life and throughout the day keep repeating that uh, affirmation redirect your mental energy uh, toward it for some of you this could be a month of some sort of a spiritual breakthrough you uh, some of you may be going back to an old routine whatever your religion is, or if you are more spiritual than religious, you may be going to some old spiritual uh, practice that maybe helped you in the past. For some of you, it feels like a need may arise for you to purge out emotionally, okay? Either to a psychologist, during a reading, during a spiritual ceremony, but you're going to feel that you need to release whatever is it that you may be feeling uh, internally. So in that sense, detoxing emotionally. For other people, for other Pisceans, you may have a sense that maybe your body is going through some sort of a purging or some sort of a uh, detoxing. They would like to remind you to stay uh, hydrated. Some of you may be feeling a little bit loopy or spacey for a couple of days because maybe your body is going to feel a little bit weird because again, energetically, you are shedding skin. Something here needs to be adjusted uh, energetically. You may feel a little bit tension in your tailbone. You may feel some tension in your neck or in your shoulders. You may have some problems with uh, sinuses or uh, migraines. And I even get a sense that for some of you, you could be particularly sensitive to different kinds of smells, aromas. So your smell sense <laughs> is going to be uh, heightened, if that makes sense uh, to you. Your dreams are going to be very important. You are about to receive important dreams, important messages in your dreams. So for some of you, the advice is you, want, you may want to keep like uh, paper and pen, uh, in your nightstand so that you can write a few notes about your uh, dreams. You're going to be going through some sort of a change. For some of you, the change is going to be very obvious. Maybe your body is changing. Maybe you are changing your physical appearance. Maybe you are changing your wardrobe. For other ones, the change is going to be in the way how uh, you feel. Maybe you feel you felt emotionally drained by your situation, by your relationship, or by a person. Now you're going to feel that little by little, uh, you are restoring yourself. Maybe because you are turning your back onto this negative person in this negative situation, so that was draining you. So now you're going to feel like, ooh, I'm ready to swim uh, upstream again. If you have been working in any projects behind the scenes, now it feels like you may be ready to do some sort of a big presentation. Uh, some of you may be doing some sort of a open house situation. You may be doing, you may be in a position where you're going to teach or you're going to um, uh, do a speech, um, some sort of presentation like in a teacher, uh, in a teacher's uh, position. Pay attention here not to miscalculate or misjudge a circumstance because it may be more complicated or less complicated that you make it uh, to uh, be. So try not to arrive in conclusions too soon when you judge a person, when you judge a relationship, when you judge a situation, make sure that you know uh, everything. And if you want to act on anything, okay, uh, make sure that you don't abruptly stop a relationship or abruptly stop a job. Make sure that you have a plan and you go through proper uh, steps. So in other words, make sure that you know what you are doing, 
okay because this is the only way for you to make good sound decisions i hope that this is making sense to you pisces do leave me a comment down here below i am curious to hear from you contact me for a private reading i'm a late worker at gmail.com go to the vimeo video for those of you who would like to know more the link is posted down here below or join the membership space right here join next to the subscribe thank you very much for being here like share subscribe and i will reconnect with you in the next video bye for now